Tuesday Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Posted on Facebook, asked you at 5 o'clock, well, do you remember the coldest Christmas we've ever had here in the Susquehanna Valley? 1983, a lot of our viewers commented that, yeah, 1983, they weren't quite sure about the temperature. Some said zero below. Got to three below. I had a, a gentleman up in Brownstown tell me it was six below at his house. Uh, high that day was only seven degrees. Bone chilling, cold Christmas back in 1983. Well, tonight, nowhere near that cold. We'll be in the 30s this evening, diminishing winds. So if you're out and about shopping, you know, put the gloves, a hat on, the coat, and you're fine. No problems weatherwise right on through the weekend, I don't think. We'll call it partly cloudy overnight time. Won't be as windy as recent nights. Uh, winds are going to die down, and that'll be the case tomorrow. Less wind, a little more sunshine, too. We had some today, but a little more sunshine. 30s to maybe low 40s in a few spots. So, you know, a chilly day. Sunday. There's a little disturbance going by. Remember, we talked earlier in the week about a possible snow. Well, it's not going to give us anything more than passing flurry, and even if that. And I think Sunday has the best chance for us to turn out sunny for the first time in a month. <laughs> we could get some sunshine. 41 was our high today. About on par for this time of the year, although the morning low was only 34. We're going to be about normal for tomorrow. No precipitation past 24 hours. Uh, here's what's happening right now around the Susquehanna Valley. Everybody in the 30s, except for Mifflin Town, coming in at 26 degrees, 32 up in Shimokin. New Freedom's down 32 also, but generally low to mid 30s. Uh, nothing on the radar. We haven't seen any precipitation around for a while, and the, it's staying on the dry side. And you saw it, the clouds just kind of parted over the Susquehanna Valley. It was pretty nice to see a little bit of that sunshine. We are watching a couple of weather systems. This moisture looks kind of ominous. I think it's going to split in two, part of it going off to our south, part of it coming up the coast on Monday. I'll get to that in just a second. Then you notice some moisture out here. There's a pretty strong storm that we're getting pounded with rain in Seattle yesterday. That's the storm that could be kind of disruptive for travel as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday anywhere east of the Mississippi. But in the meantime, we've got some clearing for this evening thanks to big area of high pressure that's off to the north. That's giving us a northerly flow, some drier air is coming in. But then we'll keep an eye on that system to the south. It looks like it'll start to bring some clouds in our direction, but not tonight. We'll stay clear for a while. And then tomorrow we'll still see some of those clouds, but not a bad night. As the storm kind of moves off the mid-Atlantic coast, I can't rule out a, a, maybe a passing flurry, some clouds coming in into early Sunday morning. But then that high reestablishes itself and looks dry for Sunday afternoon. I think Sunday, again, the best possibility of us getting a little bit of uh, some sunshine. Not all that cold. These are the 5,000-foot temperatures. Here's the freezing line at 5,000 feet. That's where we look for frozen precipitation. Here it is as we go into Monday. Now, some rain is going to start to come in on Monday, and we're right near that freezing point. So it could be a little bit of wintry precipitation. Later it comes in, though. Look at that. That freezing line goes well to our north. We get in some milder air going into Wednesday. Wouldn't surprise me, we're well into the 50s, but then chilly again as we go through Christmas and into the end of next week. It looks like that's when it really starts to get a little colder around here. 40 degrees for uh, tomorrow, and then about 42 for a stay of winter comes in Sunday evening. Then uh, maybe uh, that rain coming in. Later it comes in during the day on Monday, the better off we are in terms of winter precipitation. Beyond that, though, I think it's rather stormy, windy, rainy as we get into Wednesday. Just a little light rain or drizzle on Tuesday. Then as we get into Christmas Day itself, blustery and cold, nowhere near that 1983 temperature, then milder as we head on into Friday. Looks still rather stormy pattern as we head into next weekend, and it should be turning a little colder, as I said, but some of the computer models have kind of backed off of that. But today, I had to kind of dig through the glove department. Look what I found, though, Ron. <laughs> sunglasses. <laughs> I found those sunglasses. It was not easy finding those. Tweeted that out. A lot of folks were giving a few comments on that. Yeah, you look like FBI there, man. I was trying to Off stay a little official. incognito. Uh -huh, you I don't know where incognito <laughs> is, but I was trying to be there. Okay. Thank you, Joe. <laughs>